It's the story of the sports world right now, and that's the situation going on at Northwestern. Pat Fitzgerald, the head coach, was fired yesterday. What do you fired. mean? I'm fired. You're fired. 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 What do you mean I'm fired? You fired. Fired. I fired. love my owner. On fired. His, on his day off. Yeah, exactly. So wasn't he suspended? <laughs> he got sus- he got fired during his suspension. He got fired during his suspension. I'll be damned, man. He, uh, um, so. <laughs> Just the, let me put the new stuff out there first. So Pat Fitzgerald, as you're seeing on the screen right now, a statement that he had. And I'm not going to read you the whole statement. But uh, as part, in part, it says, Our players are well prepared to make a positive impact on the world. I'm confident in the success we achieved together. The overwhelming majority of players we coach, 99% to be produ- precise, have provided positive feedback that affirms our efforts. Attorney Maggie Hickey. Oh, yeah conducted a thorough investigation spanning several months into the allegations that led to my termination. Her investigation reaffirmed what I have always maintained, that I had no knowledge whatsoever of any form of hazing within the Northwestern football program. Last Friday, Northwestern and I came to a mutual agreement regarding the appropriate resolution following the thorough investigation conducted by Ms. Hickey. Uh, This agreement stipulated a two-week suspension Therefore, I was surprised when I learned that the president of Northwestern unilaterally revoked our agreement without any prior notification and subsequently terminated my employment. Given this unexpected turn of events, I have entrusted my agent, Brian Harlan, and legal counsel, Dan Webb, of Winston and Strawn, LLP. What's he paying them? to take the necessary Nothing. steps to protect my rights in accordance with the law. This law firm charges $2,000 per hour. But when you have $42 million in a contract that you have signed with Northwestern, you bet your ass you're going to want a piece of that $42 million because you bet your ass also that Northwestern is going to try to fire you with cause and not have to pay you that $42 million. So that's a legalese money situation right there. Here is here is where... That is not the question that I have. Here, here, is where, here is where I am with this. This might be the most reasonable, albeit maybe unpopular, take you have ever heard in your life. But I feel I want to be consistent here. I do not believe allegations, allegations should lead to firings. I want the information. If ultimately these allegations are proven true, bye-bye, see ya. But I think one of the problems in society today, in our business, is we sit behind these microphones and we convict before we know anything about it. You're fired. Uh, And I am not going to do that. I am going to try not to do that. I'm a very flawed person. I'm sure there are times I do it. But I don't think if one person says something about me, if one person says something about you, or you, or you, I don't think you should be dismissed from your job until all the information comes out. Maybe a suspension, maybe a hey, we need to take a break for a little bit until we see what happens. But no information has been revealed publicly. Uh, everybody seems to be in the dark on this. Um, the president had a, a meeting with Pat Fitzgerald, the president of the university had a meeting with Pat Fitzgerald. No new information came up from that. Um, so, what happened? I just want to take a back seat to it until I see more information. Again, and, and I go back to this, and, and you're going to hear me go back to this. Matt Ariza, the punter for the Buffalo Bills, was accused of gang rape. He was immediately fired, kicked off the Buffalo Bills before he even had his day in court, and ultimately the investigation led to no charges whatsoever. The prosecutor, there is audio tape of the prosecutor telling the girl, I think you're lying, 
uh, he wasn't even in the house at that time. And it's on the basis of stuff like that that we see over and over again that makes me just say, you know what? I don't want to get involved in it until I get more information. I just don't think allegations should mean you're fired. Well, I'm glad you can take that stance. You know, you know, to for Pat Fitzgerald, was like, I don't want to take that stance, and until I know more information, there have been a lot of convictions uh, that have taken place based on allegations. And so, excuse me if I don't boohoo about some white coach who got fired because they had allegations. So there's and no white more. black thing for you. No, well, the reason why you like everything you name, I don't want to. I don't want to jump to conclusion over Duke. I don't want to jump to conclusion over Pat Fisher. I don't want to jump to conclusion over Matt Ariza. Like We see this all the time in my community. So because they're white, we should convict and fire them? No, because I'm an institution that's a billion dollar industry, and not only do you have one heinous incident uh, that you're being alleged of, which is the homosexual deal or which is the dry humping or which is that that's one horrible thing then on the other side you have racism as well it's not a, let me finish Ryan I'll, I'll let you hey, talk no, I'm not saying you shut up it's not about that we're building down the industry and you got two of these type of fronts we don't care if you did it or not like I'm speaking now I'm just speaking as an institution we don't care if you did it or not. If it's racism and it's the other level of the dry humping or the frat boy or whatever that thing was that they said, that, you have two fronts. What do I tell incoming applicants? What do I tell people that are trying to come to Northwestern? Whether he did it or not. Like, let's say he did it and I have to wait four years to find out if he did it or not. Meanwhile, hurting enrollment. Meanwhile, hurting, hurting students. People thinking about, wow, Northwestern really has that guy as their head coach. Then what if it is true? Like, at the end of the day, I would rather it be true, and I find out later on down the line, and Pat Fitzgerald can sue me in the court of law and will settle civilly to keep my institution going on the right track because people think we did the right thing. Because people saw us and said, you know what? They took action right away, and they didn't wait and let that man work there. That's what you're dealing with when you're an institution, you're a billion dollar institution. It's about the institution. It's not about this one isolated incident. And that's where we'll disagree. That's where, we'll, that's where I guess we'll, we'll fundamentally disagree because I believe in an institution. Always? I don't know what you mean by always. You say you believe in institution. I'm like, always? Well, yeah, I, this is where I believe an institution, especially a place like Northwestern, should take a stand because it is innocent until proven guilty it should be like but it, it, never, should be. it never is and, and matt broder brought up in the chat michael irvin was it's the same situation for michael irvin he was fired and sent home from the super bowl without due process yeah but we're used to it so what he did was he hired his attorney and now he's in the situation to sue those institutions that fired him and now he'll make more money does that make it right because it happens but it happens the all the time so that's what we should just go it with. It doesn't that it make it right. It's just the first time that uh, it doesn't happen. It happens all the time. Like, we see this all the time. Like, perjury with, uh, with, uh, with persecution. I, no, I understand it happens all the time. It, it happens 95, 99% of the time. And what I'm trying to say is I don't think that's right. And I'll always try to stand up and I'll, I will fall short. I will fall short, and I'll probably fall short again. But I would like to believe I'll, I, on the principle of it alone, right. that should not happen. It is innocent until proven guilty. And I know this isn't a court of law, but I don't think you got a text message yesterday from a Northwestern player that said, yeah, it's crazy what some player could just say, or I'm paraphrasing, that didn't play and look what happens. I also yeah. talked to I also talked to former players under Bo Schimbecker that said none of this stuff happened that happened with Bo and Dr. Anderson, but I've also talked to other people that said they're lying. And I know for a fact that they're lying. So people can say whatever they want to say. But at the end of the day, we'll find out in the court of law. All I was simply saying is that I understand from an institution standpoint, I understand why they would choose to say, you know what, there's this incident and now there's this as well. We have to move on and we'll see what happens later on down the line. But in terms of, I believe, I, go ahead. I was just going to say, music in, Tom Mazaway will get you in on this next if you want to weigh in.